So in this way we can test optocoupler without signal at the LED input 1 and 2 it will give open circuit. When we apply a signal Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Welcome to Haseeb Electronics While working on a old system in a very old device it's about 90s I was facing problem in 4 and 3 5 it's optocoupler 4 and 25 or 4 and 35 GV this optocoupler with photo transistors output it have 6 pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 if we put our IC like this this is cut side under the cut side leftmost pin is pin number 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 spin identification first of all we have to see what is inside this if you come to data sheet it have one photodiode it is gallium arsenide diode cathode anode cathode pin number one is anode positive side pin number two is cathode in the output we have a normal NPN transistor with photo transistor the base have two drives one is pin number six that is base collector and emitter so it can be used in both cases so it is optocoupler with photo output transistor it is gallium arsenide diode LED inside and it have a distance so there is no physical connection between input and output there is just only light connection it is optically connected so let's check first of all we can check with multimeter put to diode mode because we are going to test diode so pin number one is anode so we can find the forward voltage forward voltage of 1.03 so in any optocoupler we find 1.03 this diode is this component is serviceable it is functional so in the output we have NPN transistor like a simple transistor just only connect red lead to pin number 6 base to collector base to emitter we have forward, forward voltage so pin number 6 and 5 0.7 0.7 and if we check between 4 and 5 between collector and emitter there is no continuity there is no no resistance which can check resistance now set multimeter to resistance and check resistance between 4 and 5 between collector and emitter there is no resistance now we want to check its functional test if we check the data sheet absolute maximum rating forward current that is 60 milliampere reverse voltage maximum 5 volt but we need 60 milliampere in the input side so from 60 milliampere we can calculate it that is maximum current we have to apply voltage in the input side pin number 1 and 2 so we have one LED in the input side there is LED it takes maximum we will consider 50 milliampere it can take maximum 60 milliampere but we will remain in safe zone 60 50 milliampere and I will connect a battery 1.5 volt battery 1.5 volt battery we will connect it in series resistor 1.5 volt one battery we will connect just one battery so we will, we will find the value of the resistor 
we have total 1.5 volt and we will minus the LED voltage remaining 0.5 volt and the series current because we are connected in series so series current we have 60 milliampere and we will consider it 50 milliampere so R is equal to V over I voltage we have current we have so to calculate series resistor R LED V supply main voltage minus V LED V battery minus V LED over current 1.5 volt minus 1 volt LED oblique 50 milliampere 10 raised to power minus 3 so we can find the value of resistor 0.5 divided by 50 multiplied by 1000 so we need 10 ohm resistor this resistor 10 ohm here is pin number 1 here is pin number 2 I have 1.5 volt battery positive negative we will connect one switch here series switch resistor and ground positive negative 1.5 volt one two so three is free not connected pin number four is emitter pin number five is collector and pin number six is base so let's make connections So now our circuit is ready positive of the cell battery cell is connected to switch as we connected here positive connected to switch positive connected to switch the switch second end connected to pin number one So here is pin number 1, pin number 2 we connected to a resistor, pin number 2 we connected to resistor 10 ohm, and resistor second end connected to negative terminal. of the capacitor uh, of the battery so here is pin number four, pin number four here is pin number four we will connect multimeter black lead to pin number four and red lead to pin number five turn on the switch it is giving 90 ohm resistance so our optocoupler when we connect actually we apply 1 volt in the input our optocoupler works as a relay 90 ohm forward junction resistance if we, we will check it in the diode mode 91 ohm and if you check continuity it will be continuity So in this way we can test optocoupler without signal at the LED input 1 and 2 it will give open circuits. When we apply a signal it makes short circuit between collector to emitter. 
so it is working as a saturated in diode mode and in resistor mode we will find 91 ohm resistor if this video is good for you you can subscribe if you want and if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button so that you can get notification thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh